Hey, what's going on everyone? Sorry for no face cam in this video at my dad's and my dumbass forgot it at my mom's. Alright, so we're gonna have to go back to the old format. Promise that when I get to my mom's, the face cam videos will return. Alright, that is a promise. Alright. Anyway, for this video, we're gonna be looking at the ultimate r slash nice guy. Alright, yes, we are reacting to Daddy Darman. Alright, the sexy motherfucker known as Darman. No homo. Alright, I don't got socks on, but I said no homo, so it's all good. Alright, let's get straight into this video. Alright, and hopefully you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, as soon as I found out he drove a Honda, ugh, I got out of there as quick as I could. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Can I get you ladies anything else? Um, how about some shots of 1942? Aren't those like 50 bucks a shot? Yeah, so, we'll take three. Sounds good. First the steak for lunch, then the shots of expensive tequila. Oh, where is all the money coming from? Only fans. Oh, you know. Ever since I started dating Nelson. Yeah, you know, that, that works too, but my guess I think was better. Uh, over here. You're dating Nelson? Why? You'll see. Hey, babe. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry that you're a little bit late. Um, we were just finishing up. Oh, that's all right. I wasn't that hungry anyway, so. All right, here we go. Three shots of 1942. Can I get you anything, sir? Yeah, I just a glass of water. Thank you. And so, of course, I'm just gonna place the check right here. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I left my card at home. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Hey, now don't call yourself that. No, I just, I told the girls that I was gonna take them to lunch and it was gonna be my treat. Now I can't, so I just feel really bad. You know what? I'll take care of it. No, I couldn't. <laughs> Let's go, Nelson! Let's go, Nelson! Yeah, treat them right, Nelson! Do that! No, really, it's okay. Here. You're such a gentleman, Nelson. <laughs> well, anything for my pookie bear? Never mind, everyone. Forget what I said about Nelson being a Chad. He just called her pookie bear, which is like some middle school relationship type shit. So, you lost your Chadness, Nelson. Alright, you are no longer invited to the boys' cookout. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what should we do now? Well, I was thinking maybe we could do a little bit of shopping. <laughs> mm. That sounds good to me. I'm down. Uh, here's your water, sir. Thank you. Of course. No, oh, all set. No, Nelson Rodriguez. I have the same last name. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is just a complaint. <clears throat> From me why did the writers feel the need to include that this random waiter is related to unchad now nelson like is he secretly bill gates later on in the story or is that important like why is that even why was that even mentioned like this is some random character that isn't even important to the story why why was the writers like yes you must be related to this guy named nelson all right you just have to be related to him all right because yeah it doesn't even say if they're related or not, so why did they even include it? That's just my question. I mean, it's Darman, but still. Do better, Darman. Cheers! Cheers, <laughs> Cheers you guys. Right? Mm. Mm. This dress costs 150 bucks? This store is way too expensive. <laughs> yeah, let's go somewhere else. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> you guys just get what you want. It's fine. I'll have Nelson pay for it. Seriously? He'll pay for us too? How does he have so much money? So his mom owns this big financial company. She is loaded. Long story short, Nelson is a 30 year old living in his rich mom's basement. Long story short. <sighs> Why else did you guys think I was hanging out with him? <laughs> <laughs> now it all makes sense. Hello ladies, would you like to try this on? Um, yes, she would. And if you have that dress in the same size but a different color, she'd like to try it on as well. Absolutely. 
Come with me to the dressing room, ladies, and I'll get you set up. Now you both have dresses to wear to my party tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Go try them on. I have work to do. <laughs> Hey, huh. find anything you like? Yeah, a couple pieces actually. <laughs> but I probably shouldn't be buying anything right now. Why not? I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Hey, I'm your boyfriend. You can tell me anything. Well, my mom is sick. And my dad just lost his job, so. <laughs> I've just been really stressful at home lately. Oh my god, babe, I, I'm so sorry. I just thought buying a few dresses would make me feel better, but I'll just put them back. Wait, no. Now I feel bad. Just give them to me, okay? I'll, I'll buy them for you. No, I can't let you do that. They're expensive. That's okay. Whatever it takes to make my girl happy. I don't know if anyone else is getting this vibe, but this is the type of guy that will go on r slash nice guys to complain about women. I'm I'm already calling it. At the end of the story, he's going to go on r slash nice guys to complain. All right, that's going to be the twist to the story. All right, not the instant regret. No, 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 that's, that's not going to be it at the end. It's going to be him going on r slash nice guys. What did I do to deserve such a sweet boyfriend? <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. I'm going to get a couple more pieces from the dressing room. Oh. Oh, okay. Nelson? Hey, Nelson. Adam? Yeah, hi. Hey, what are you doing here? I actually work here. <laughs> yeah, and you are shopping for some dresses, I see. <laughs> no, I... I'll see you outside. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know you were friends with Jennifer. She's actually my girlfriend now. Just for, just a prediction, all right? Adam is going to be Jennifer's ex, and he's going to reveal to Nelson Nice Guy that she has some weird-ass fetishes, like feet and using guns in bed or knives or some shit. And she always begged him to let her peg him. And the twist of the story is going to be Nelson gets pegged. Yeah, we've been going out for a month. I'm buying these dresses for her. Are you crazy? No, don't do that. No, she's, she's basically the biggest user in town. Everyone knows that. Okay, what are you talking about? Do you remember Billy? Billy from high school? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, well, she basically used him for every dime he had. I'm telling you, man, she's, she's not a good person. Fuck! No, my Jennifer would never do something like that, so... Well, you should talk to Billy. He'll tell you exactly what happened. Uh, look, it makes me feel bad to tell you this, but she's just with you because of your money. I gotta go, but um, i catch you later, okay? Okay. Seriously, babe, I still can't- Okay, these are just like the weirdest extras I've ever seen. There's two guys in what seems to be a mall just- reading now nothing wrong with that but the problem is no one fucking reads anymore first off you have this dude reading a newspaper when those are basically dead let's be honest then you have the other dude up there just sitting in what looks to be a food court chair in the middle of the open not even at a table probably looking at some porn if i'm being honest all right so yeah let's just move on that you bought us all of these dresses. You're so sweet. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Mm. So, should we all go get some ice cream or coffee? Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to start heading home so I can be ready by seven. Yeah, we wouldn't want to be late to your party tonight. You're having a party? Well, I wouldn't call it a party per se. It's more like a small group of my really close girlfriends and I hanging out. And scissoring. Why didn't you tell me? It was just sort of a last minute plan, actually. Yeah, we literally just decided this like a few minutes ago. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. See how your place at seven? We'll oh, I get it now. She's gonna go to the party, get her guts fucked out of her in a five sum. Boom. 
I told you guys she's into some really kinky shit. Bring a bottle. Can't wait. Uh, we better get going. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Not much of a girl's night if those two guys are going, right? Those two guys are the boyfriends to two of my really close girlfriends. They're in serious, committed relationships. I had to invite them. And we're not? We are. But Nelson, you and I have been dating for less than a month. You need to relax. Come on, let my man Nelson go. Like, based off how they were treating him, it's obvious that he never got invited to parties. Alright, just let my man go to the party. Just this one time. Just let my man go. Come on. What the fuck? Nelson, if you ever want to go to a party, hit me up, my guy. Like, I'll go to all the parties with you. Alright, we'll just be super nice guys together. Alright, then we'll complain on our slash nice guys. I mean, doesn't that sound like such a fun time, my guy? Come on, just... I'll go to a party with you, Nelson. Alright. I promise you, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Let's go. Hey, is everything okay? My mom's condition got worse. Oh, babe, <laughs> my God, I'm so sorry. Wait, are those the three? I just found out that she got taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Insurance won't cover the cost. Oh, no. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, I'm really embarrassed to ask. I borrow $500. I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I can. $500? That's a lot. I, I knew I shouldn't have come here. This was a terrible idea. I'll just go. No. I'm not saying I wouldn't give it to you. I just wasn't expecting this. That's all. And you thought I was? Getting that phone call was the last thing that I wanted. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot even imagine what you're going through right now. Her mom is dying. That's that's what she's going through right now, Nelson. What the fuck was that? Okay, um... Is Venmo okay? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Send. I just got it. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Nelson. I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I can. I hope everything goes well with your mom. Who? Oh yeah, me too. Darn man, I get that that was supposed to be like an indication that she was bullshitting us, but what the fuck was that acting in that script? That was just some shit writing. Here, you know what? I'll give you something that you should have done instead, Darn man, because I'm feeling generous today. Maybe you could have just had her giggling on the way out with her friends or some shit, you know? Maybe do that. Literally anything would have been better than what you just fucking did, our man. All right. You know what? Just have me write a story, our man. All right. I promise that it won't be as bad as this. All right. Just fucking let me write a video for once and you'll see how well it goes. Billy? Hey. Um, it's Nelson. <laughs> I looked up the name of his mom's company on Wikipedia. Okay, Rodriguez Investments pulled in more than $25 million in revenue alone last year. Uh, what? That's crazy. I can't imagine how nice of a gift you're going to get for your one month anniversary. I know. He's been talking about it all week, so I'm going to be super shocked. <sighs> Do you think he's gonna get you a Chanel bag? Maybe a car. Only thing that kind of sucks is I had to get him something in return. Oh. Couldn't show up empty handed when he's getting me a super nice gift. Mm -hmm. There he is. 
FaceTime us immediately after you open up your gift. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. I can't believe it's been a month already. Time flies when you're in love. <laughs> oh, I got you something. Oh. We shouldn't have. Gucci. Wow, babe. <laughs> a wallet. Thank you. You're welcome. Darman, you should have had her give him Gucci flip-flops. Come on, that's what every guy wants. Just some Gucci flip-flops. Welcome. And I got something for you, too. <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> but before you open it, there's something you need to know. What is it? Our relationship is over. <laughs> You're joking, right? No. I don't want to be with you anymore, Jennifer. What? Why not? Because I know about your lies. You see... The other day I went to go meet someone you may remember, Billy. Turns out, five years ago, you told him the same sob story about your mom being sick and your dad losing his job in order to get money out of him. I couldn't believe it. Still, I decided to give you the benefit of the doubt. That's why I went to your parents' house. Oh my god, Nelson fucked her mom. Oh my god, Nelson, the nice guy always wins. I was wrong the whole time. He fucked her mom. Let's go, Nelson. When I gave your mom a get well card, she looked confused. You know why? Because she's not sick. She told me that you guys haven't even spoken to each other in years, ever since you stole money from her. And just as I thought things couldn't get any worse, your dad came. And as soon as I saw him, I recognized the name on his shirt. Rodriguez Investments. Turns out he never lost his job. He's been working for my mom for years. So you see, it was all a lie. You were only using me for my money and I was just too blind to see it. What? Give a round of applause for my man Nelson pulling through and banging the MILF. Wait, you you're serious? He didn't even get a hit? Come on, dude. What the fuck? This is Darn man, this is some shit writing. You should have had him hit and you know, give the nice guys a win for once. Alright, they're they're kind of on a major losing streak. Nice guys always finish last. You guys know the saying. Come on, you should have let the nice guy hit for once. Come on, Dar. No, Nelson, you've got Just me. Save it. I'm done falling for your lies, Jen. Have a good life. Oh, and thank you for the wallet. Nelson, you can't just leave me. <sighs> ah! I mean, one of you. So did she FaceTime her friends afterward to tell them what she got, at least? Like, come on, she said she was gonna do that. Like, what a shitty friend as well if she didn't even do that. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy this style of content, um, me just making fun of Darman videos, please leave this video a like, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, trying to, trying to grow, and, you know... Remember, we're not just making videos here. We're changing lives here at the Chilling Owl channel. I get that I stole that line from Darman, but guess what? I don't give a fuck. All right, uh, but all seriousness, uh, this is just kind of something fun, lighthearted to make fun of. Uh, you know, good old Darman never seems to fail us. Anyway, uh, make sure you follow my socials. will be linked down in the description. And have a good day. Tell someone you love them.